I received a letter from them saying that they had substantiated findings uh, that I am physically and mentally abusive to uh, my two oldest kids. Quick call before the next break. Let's talk to Jason from California. Jason, this is uh, Vince Davis. Cynthia Becker, did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? Hi, uh, I had a little bit of both. Go ahead. So, um, I'm actually, I'm sorry, I, I didn't touch her. I had actually had an issue with them. I received a letter from them saying that they had substantiated findings. Uh, that I am physically and mentally abusive to uh, my two oldest kids. Um, and she had claimed she had sent texts to me, and she basically substantiated off of me not being responsive to her text. I did uh, meet with her at my home and, uh, you know, phone calls, and when she tried to contact me, I always was, uh, you know, I've, I've always answered and stuff. But uh, I printed out my phone report, my phone statement, and there were no calls or texts except for the one she sent at the screenshot of uh, the supposed text you sent me. So I, I filed an appeal for it. It's that I had 30 days to file an appeal when I opened up that statement. Mm -hmm. And I have gotten uh, I've, I've gotten in contact with, they called it the gatekeeper. And that's who has the, uh, like the report, because I don't even really know what what is being said or, or where that's a, even a thing. Um, my oldest son, is he doesn't understand it either. Um, he's one of the ones that it says that I'm, uh, physically and mentally abusive to. Jason, do you and, have uh, both of your children in your custody? Well, see, and so I was the uh, custodial Jason. parent, and my ex is actually, uh, if this had came along with, basically she had tried to file a uh, ex parte. She's now saying that she uh, she had just heard things. She had claimed that she, she had made a bunch of just like way out claims in the ex parte. And because of COVID, we haven't been able to get into court for it. Okay, Jason, you have to June. you have to ask answer this question. Do you okay. have custody of your children? Yes or no? Uh, only two two times a week right now. I get okay. Is that by way of a court order from the juvenile court or the family law court? Family family law. Okay. So, do you have an attorney representing you in the family law case? Yes or no? I do not. Okay. What I suggest is that you consult with an attorney in your area and try to get someone who can represent you. You know, family law case oh. family law cases sometimes turn out to be a little tough, a little complicated, and you want to make sure you have good legal representation in that case. Well, and at this point now, my ex is saying that she uh, doesn't actually, she said that that was just stuff she heard and she wants to get into court and, you know, say that she was wrong. Because it was all, it was just kind of like a smear letter. Um, hey, hey, Jason. And hey, Jason. Yes? Don't go to court without a lawyer, or at least talking to a lawyer. Because if she tells you one thing and she goes back on it later, guess who's going to lose out? You. Mm -hmm. You're going to be standing there looking at her and looking at the judge, and you're going to have this, you know, uh, blank stare on your face. But judge, she told me blah, blah, blah. Don't fall for that one, Jason. Do not well, fall for that one. With CPS, I did, uh, when talking to her, she had said she wanted me because they, they were saying that drinking was my problem. So I actually found the, uh, the place that, you know, goes through them for the random testing and everything. And I, I quit drinking altogether because it just wasn't something that was more important than my children to me. Um, yeah, but you're talking. Have, but you're telling me about CPS stuff. It, CPS is, you know, that issue is dead and gone. You're in family law court. There's no CPS. Oh, really? Yes. That's why I'm telling you, Jason. Go talk to a lawyer at least for a free consultation. Jason, I want to thank okay. you for calling in. Thank you for listening. Call us in a few weeks with an update. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to take another break. This is The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services and Win. I'm Vince Davis with Cynthia Becker. We'll be back with more calls and questions.